The producer of the Senran Kagura games at Marvelous Entertainment, Kenishiro Takaki, I hope that I'm saying his name right, has departed from Marvelous Entertainment after 13 long years. He will be moving on to bigger and better things. And it is due to the growing trends of censorship, as he feels as though fan service is being torn apart little by little. We all know that games like Senran Kagura have had a rougher road in the past about two years or so, and it has become a very discouraging to people within the industry that create games along these lines that end up on the wrong side of censorship. Luckily, he is not leaving the industry completely, and he will be joining Psy Games for a new game, um, though we are not sure what it will be exactly, though it apparently will not feature any females being disrobed or unclothed, so it won't be along the lines of the previous things that he is known for. Even though he's the Big Boob producer, as they call him, I think that he just wants to branch out since Big Boobs get you nowhere in the gaming industry these days. Now in April, Famitsu will be releasing a full interview with Takaki, though since so many people had so many questions, they did release a few small snippets, one being him explaining what he thought about recent censorship enforcements, which is also the reason why he is changing his direction as a producer, saying, While sexual things may be criticized, there are many people who do enjoy those expressions. I believed that such variation could be one of the pillars to support the gaming industry, but it ended up being crushed easily like this. It became a cue for me to think about various things. And I have always said things along the lines of this. Things with a more sexual nature have been and always will be criticized. Even though there are a place for games like the ones that he has created, there will always be that sort of... that sort of criticism. Obviously, these games sell very well, and a problem that I have is that the more the industry grows, the less of a spot these types of games have, and even someone like him believes that maybe one day these games will not have a place, since he did say he believes that fan service is being torn apart little by little. Now, he also said, I would welcome regulations and restrictions to protect specific genres and scopes, but I feel like the recent course of events have made it seem like they're totally intent on crushing it. And it's not just him that feels this way, obviously. Other developers and also fans of these games along the lines of these, this um, feel this way as well. You know, looking at Sony, regulations and guidelines have largely changed over the past two years or so and have pushed towards those changes. It's not like they plan to go back with these changes. They have been very consistent with their policies and he is leaving due to censorship. But he's moving to making other PlayStation exclusive games and exclusive Psy Games projects. He had a chance with leaving to get away from Sony and the censorship that they have been enforcing, yet he is moving to companies that are also going to be creating games for Sony. And I saw this from a friend of the channel, and it's a great analogy. They said it's like someone complaining about fast food, but still eating it. 100% what I thought about this. You have a chance to use your voice. You have people that respect you and would follow you through all of the different companies that you went to. You're going to give up that chance to and not be able to use your voice. I feel like at this point with this move in particular, he doesn't particularly have a right to complain about Sony and their censorship now. Even if, you know, the games that he is going to be creating now are very different and his new projects are not along the lines of his past creations, it's a missed opportunity to do more and we received a half-assed response that makes little sense. If it is his goal to speak out about the censorship policies of Sony, his actions do not equal that. His actions and words are very, very different in this situation. He's being loyal to the platform that he is saying that is ruining a genre of games that people enjoy. Why would you be loyal to that, especially when this has been your life, this is what you have done for work, these are the types of things that you have created? rather than the freedom to create the things that you wish to create. I just cannot put two and two together here in this situation. I just do not, I do not see his words equaling his actions here. But some good news here is that he also did confirm that he will be finishing 7 Even, saying games currently under production will be finished properly. 7 Even will take some time while the base won't change, but right now they are making parts that we must be evolving. After that, either myself or someone else should finish it and deliver it to fans. This statement is a good one out of the bad situation that we are overall having here, but to me it does sound like he is leaving freely, there was not a situation between himself and the company, which is good since that was a worry of mine at first, maybe thinking that something went wrong, but they are ending on healthy terms, which is very good, since we do luckily get to have him finishing the projects he has been working on, 
But still, I just feel like he lost his right to complain about censorship if he's still feeding into the company that he despises and that he has been really speaking against in this interview, but there is no other information at this point in time. When the interview does happen next month, I will let you guys know and I will probably do a video on it and talk about it a little bit. Um, this is a situation that I am going to be following. I just, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on his words versus his actions. Do you truly think that he, Sony is as bad as he is making it out to be or do you personally think that he has no right to speak on it at this point? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys again in the next one really soon.